It's another nice day at the Grove. A lot of planes though, and cars. And a lot of nice birds though, frogs. However, yesterday, just as I left before I came back, little gang wannabe kids came in, spray painted up the place, did the stones, did some trees, did the garbage can, telling everyone don't enter, yeah right. Now, for the record, it's always been legal to come back here. It's just the perception in the past with the police and you know, all the vandalism going on. People saying, go, 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 get away, get away. You know, they didn't even actually technically vacate this road going to the cemetery until 77, 76. 77, actually. 76, it got the new fence. The second fence. You're not going to keep people out. Not even the gangs. Give it up. You're like a bunch of sewer rats marking your territory, huh? Ain't going to happen. Anyway, I think I know who they were because I confronted them. Asked them where the can of spray paint was. They're all holding their cheap beers in their hands, looking pretty guilty. <laughs> uh, anyway, overall it's a nice day though. It's reflecting on how I was talking about when I first saw this place at night. and uh, Actually back when I was first driving, I first got my license took a drive out here I actually drove on the old Bachelors Grove Road and uh, glad I got to do that I used to hike out here a lot too with my friends and I used to use disc film if you know what disc film is I never got it developed but I know I have a picture of the old road it's long gone now All right. so you didn't get it developed by now Interesting times. Nobody really in here today. Just a couple kids walking in, just kind of left. It's early morning right now, kind of, sort of. Yeah, so yeah, I got first got my license. Took a little drive, eventually found my way out here, and just driving the preserves. I had this one job, my first job, a friend of mine got it for me. And so I had to use my own car for this job, driving by old 143rd Street. I remember looking over the pond and thinking, what the hell is a fence doing out in the woods? And then I forgot about it until much later. A lot of memories here. Like that day when the camera was powering itself down, or the night. On one of my walk-arounds, we came across a freshly dug up grave. And they didn't get too far, actually it wasn't to the coffin, but, you know, a few feet. You could tell it was fresh by the amount of moisture compared to how dry it was around it and all that kind of stuff. I actually came back the next day, it was just kind of haphazard, like, hey, I'm in the area, let's go check out this hole. I walk in, and there's a shovel in the hole. It's one of these silver ceremonial shovels for like groundbreaking ceremonies. Looked at it like perfectly clean, wasn't even used. Really strange experience, you know. 
I actually had a cell phone at the time. Really enjoyed that. I was like one of the rare people that had a cell phone among my friends, and it was really convenient. Anyway, so I, I grabbed the phone, called the cops. Eventually, the cop came out. He pulls his gun on me. I don't know if that's exactly protocol, but um, yeah, I put my hands up. Say hey, I called it in. I called it in. Say called what in? Pointed to the grave. Said, what you doing in there? Of course, at the time, you know, a little intimidated. Some bullshit. I just saw it through the fence. I, you know. Of course, I come to learn later on it's completely legal to be here. Uh, a lot of chipmunks today. They came right up to me. Staring at me. Hmm. Yeah, I got a cigarette. You know, nothing really happened of it. The cop just left, took the shovel and left. Looking back on it now, it was pointless to even call him in. I probably should just look the shovel as a... Well, I hate to use the word souvenir, but... And that wasn't the last time I saw Doug upgrave here. Actually, the, the other one was... My sister had never been here before. And so one day I'm like, yeah, let's go out there and get a little worried or whatever from the stories. It wasn't a big deal, but I told her it wasn't a big deal. We get to the roped off entrance and this guy, he's got a little story behind him. He drives up on a motorcycle on the path. He stops and like, don't go back there, dead bodies everywhere. Of course, that fucking freaks her out. Told her, I know this guy, don't worry about it. He gets a little fucking weird. Get to the gates. And I don't know what you call it. I just had that feeling. I'm like, well, you know what? Just wait here. I'm going to go take a walk around first. And just as I'm thinking everything's fine, look over at the Newman grave. Some people know it's the Dora Newman. Sure enough, they actually reached the coffin. I don't know. I don't know if somebody startled them or if it's just a lark. You know, they get to the grave and take off. But there was a little drama after that. I have to remember some of it more. I actually wrote that down. Somebody was a suspect and got ruled out and all that kind of stuff. But we got the time frame down when it was dug. Actually, you might have seen that photo at some point on the website. It was in the history page. And it showed uh, some of it dug up. I don't know if the angle of that photo, I think I, I kept, I think I used a photo that didn't show the coffin or something. Just didn't feel right. Just an example of, you know, vandalism. That's all it was for. Hmm. I actually called in that particular time, too, about the grave being dug up and Cops never showed. I actually called Chicago Tribune and some other outlet just to see if they'd follow up on it. Nothing. Nobody cared. It must be a common thing here, huh? <laughs> but not so much. 
Yeah, ever since volunteers started coming out and doing their thing. See, more people that come out here, more the bad guys don't want to be around doing shit. Sure, if I was here yesterday for a longer period of time, those guys wouldn't have the balls to be spray painting. 